Let's take a look at this problem taken from the Indian National Mathematical Olympia 2005. It says, find all functions f that maps the set of real numbers to itself, such that for all real numbers x, y, and z, f of x squared plus y times f of z equals x times f of x plus z times f of y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Although it's a problem 6, this equation is actually quite a simple one because all we need to do is to just to put in some um, appropriate values to reduce the equation into a very um, uh, simple conclusion. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to replace y and z by 0. Then left hand side will become f of x squared and right hand side is just x times f of x because both y f of z and z f of y will vanish. So this is an, a useful result that we'll use sometime later. And then afterwards, I'm going to just replace y and z to be both to be x. The left hand side will become f of x squared plus x times f of x. And right hand side would be x f of x plus x f of x which means f of x squared plus x times f of x equals to 2x times f of x now we can replace this part this x times f of x inside the bracket by f of x squared then this will become f of x squared plus f of x squared so double f inside equals 2x f of x. And here comes the magic. Is that I can actually replace, I can actually refer to these two expressions. We compare them and we can see that I can treat z to be x squared and y to be 1 and use the original equation to rewrite left hand side to be x times f of x plus x squared times f of 1 and that would equal to 2x f of x. This is the magic. Is that I can replace this z comparing with x squared and, and do the same for y. And so we have f of 1. So now from after this step, this magical step, we can have x squared times f of 1 equals x times f of x. If we are actually solving some ordinary equations like quadratic equations, then of course we have to like um, move everything to one part and then um, take out a common factor x. but if it's a functional equation, this means that this equation has to hold for all values of x. So I can simply um, cross out one of the x on both sides and say that x times f of 1 equals f of x. So we know that f of x is just actually some constant times x. That means a linear function, a very simple linear function. Now the last question is, what value does f of 1 take? So to find out that, we let f of 1 to be equal to some constant c. Then we put this into the original e equation and we'll have And we'll have c times x squared plus c y z equals c x squared plus c y z. And we can cancel the c x squared and we will have c squared y z equals c y z. And again, since value of y z are arbitrary, we must have c squared to be exactly equal to c. Then we solve it, 
C can be zero or one. Now that means f x is either zero because zero times x, which is just just zero, or f of x equals to x. So these are the two possible solutions, and we check them. So when f is zero, then certainly left hand side is just zero, while right hand side is a zero times x plus zero times z, clearly zero. So take. And finally, when f of x is the identity function x, then left hand side would then be x squared plus y z, while right hand side will also be equal to x squared plus y z. So again, take. So these two are both valid solutions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.